afternoon. I'm Jason DeRussia in for Allie. And I'm Kim Johnson. Thank you for joining us. When you think of Thanksgiving, a big turkey dinner and a slice of pumpkin pie typically come to mind. But not for members of law enforcement who are out patrolling the streets for one of the busiest nights of the year for drunk drivers. Mary McGuire is live this morning, this afternoon, I should say, with more on the State Patrol's holiday DWI enforcement campaign. Mary? Hey Jason. Well, tonight, of course, is a big night for folks to go out and enjoy uh, alcohol and alcoholic beverage with their friends uh, before this long holiday weekend. So, to stress the importance of finding a sober ride home, two families shared stories of how their lives have been impacted by drunk drivers. Now, this fall, Hitesh Patel lost his 20 year old niece, Rhea, in a drunk driving crash. Prosecutors believe Patel's boyfriend drove into a light pole before fleeing the scene. He had admitted to dry drinking before getting behind. Behind the wheel. Sergeant Catherine Michael of the Minneapolis Police Department lost her daughter to a drunk driver in 2006. She was just 16 years old. Today, those two families met to share how their lives have been permanently changed by one person's bad decision. Have not put up a Christmas tree since Deanna died. Why? Because I can't take those ornaments that she made and gave to me and put them on a tree. I can't take those ornaments. That she bought for me and put them on a tree, or the ornaments that I bought for her. It's too painful. Do I put Christmas stuff up? Yes. Do I put Thanksgiving stuff up? Yes. But I can't put a tree up. Now, over the past five years, nearly 13,000 people were arrested for drunk driving between Thanksgiving and Christmas. 27 people were killed on Minnesota roads in drunk driving related crashes during that same time period. Now, to give you an idea of just how many uh, law enforcement officials will be out on the roads tonight, on an average Wednesday night in the state of Minnesota, about 47 people are stopped for drunk driving. Tonight, on the average night uh, before Thanksgiving, there are just more than 70. So, uh, there. Law enforcement will be out. They will be patrolling, stepping up their patrols during this holiday season, Jason. Boy, heartbreaking to hear the sergeant there. Mary, thank you.